Hi guys, I realize it's been a while since I've recorded a video. I've been so out and about doing different things that I haven't had a chance, but I want to show you something today. We're going to look not at the normal subjects I talk about of web design, but instead at a tool I use all of the time for my writing. Ulysses, it's called. Here it is in the App Store. Um, it's about... 30 pounds I think so it's not necessarily the cheapest app that you will um, ever come across in the app store but it is worth every penny if you write a lot like I do so I'm always writing blog posts writing reports writing books all kinds of things and Ulysses is my go-to app and I just want to show you a little bit about it here we go it's 31 pounds 99 and worth every penny so let's have a look at the app here is Ulysses, a very, very basic um, looking app, very, very simple. Um, basically, if we start on the left hand side, you have a library. I keep all my stuff in, on uh, iCloud, but you can equally have it running locally if you prefer. And then essentially what you um, are doing is a very flexible kind of folder grouping structure that you can do any way you want. So let's first of all look at blogging, um, which is a folder that I've created. So as I blog, as you can see, I've got different blog posts here. And then you've got this working environment where you actually write your posts. Now I can hide away those columns and just focus down on my writing. And in fact, I can also go full screen on this. As you can see, I'm writing in Markdown um and i can go through and add anything that i want and write as normal but notice things like images um one of the things that i like to do um when i am writing is that i like to get it read back to me sometimes so that i can think about and listen to what i've written the problem i always have is with images and links and things like that that it reads me the content of the image and the url and all that kind of stuff which is really annoying one of the things I like about Ulysses is it hides it all away under this little um, option here. And you get the same with links as well. So instead of putting all the link text in, it just shows you the text. You can double click on it and it tells you the URL. It also does some nice formatting things in terms of how it um, displays the, your markdown. And it's generally a really nice, pleasant environment to work in. Let's just for a second create a new document. There's another thing that I really like about um, this, which is you can set it up in what's called typewriter mode. And so you can say that I always want um, anything, the lines um, that I type to be roughly in the center. So as I go down, you notice that the page is moving rather than my cursor position. So I'm always looking at the same point of the screen. Now you can set where that, that appears in the screen. You might want, you might be somebody that likes to have your cursor lower down on the screen or higher up or whatever else. Now, another thing you can do is set it up to highlight the current line. And this is a very nice trick as well because it lets you focus again on exactly what you're writing, which I find very useful. You can, um, there are lots of other tricks of things you can do um, with the editing, but I just wanted to kind of introduce you to that particular theme. Um, you can set up the look and feel, obviously, of this. Um, here we go, if we go in here, you can go through and set up um, the looks of things, whether, you know, how you want it to appear visually as you're typing. Once you've written a document, um, things get quite interesting. If you're writing, for example, a longer document, at the moment I'm writing a companion for my book, Digital Adaptation. Um, and as you can see, I've got a draft. And that draft, I've split up into all the different sections in the document. And I, at any one time, I can concentrate on one particular section and I can write on that. But if I want to see the broader context of my document, what I can do is select all of the sections in here and there you can see that they're all displayed as one long document so it allows you to do really nice things like for example if my case for change section if i decide i want to move that to a different place in my document i can just drag it and drop it and there you go it's now in its new place so it's a great way of allowing you to create more sizable documents like books or long reports 
Another nice thing you can do is you can easily move sections of this document into other documents. So um, if there's boiler uh, plate that you use across all your documents, it's easy to add that from one document into the next. Now, of course, where things get really interesting is where you want to, um, to export the information that you've got. So you select the whole of the document and then what you can do um, is go to this export option here. And that allows you to export it in lots of different ways. You can export it as plain text or markdown. You can um, save it as a PDF. You can save it as HTML, or you can even save it as an ebook. Now, saving it in HTML is quite interesting because you can apply a theme to decide how you want it to display. It's got loads of themes built into it by default, but as you can see, I've created a new one called Boag World, which represents the, how it will look when it goes onto my site. So if I click Send to Safari, you see the layout of the document as it will appear on the new version of the Boag World site, which is, hasn't been released yet. So you can do all of the kind of formatting and stuff like that to make sure it looks right. So let's take a blog post, for example, um, and then we're going to send that to Safari. And there you go. That's what the blog post will look like when it's actually on my um, blog. So really great useful things, but it's got loads more added into it that's worth mentioning as well. For example, when you're writing, often you need a word count and you need to how, know how long what you've written is. So there's a statistics um, button here that you can click and it tells you how many words, sentences, paragraphs, etc. The other thing that I really like about this um, particular option is it'll tell you how long it takes for someone to read that document which is really important when you're blogging to ensure that your, your uh, blog posts don't become too long and too complicated. So that's another great feature that it's got. The other feature that I like, which is particularly useful for when you're writing longer documents, is um, an outline button. So you click on this and it will show you the kind of hierarchy of the document that you want. And you can click on any particular part of that document and jump immediately to it. So it's a really flexible, really powerful text editor that um, is great for writing anything from eBooks to proposals to documents. What I really like about it in particular is the fact that you just write stuff in Markdown and then you can um, format it and output it in all kinds of different ways. So if we go into the preferences again, and I show you um, the styles tab, you can see how there are all these different looks and feels and, and layouts of how your document might eventually look. And for you to go and create your own, as I've done on Boag World, it is really easy. It's just editing some CSS for the HTML that is outputted by Markdown. And you can control everything from how it's um, displayed as rich text to HTML and even in EPUB format. So if you're a regular writer and you're looking for a tool um, that really can give you control over the writing experience, then I highly recommend checking out Ulysses.